All right, we got the little bit of liquid flash from zip left. And you can see here how I taped off just to make it look clean and to help give me a guide. <coughs> taped off the upper and the lower just to make it look clean. And I even went ahead and wrapped it around here as well, just so that way this is fully sealed, almost like a uh, window sill, but fully sealing this. So that way that's all waterproof. We don't have to worry about the water splashing up, getting the bottom side of the plywood. Don't have to worry about that rotting. Don't have to worry about ants getting in or any other critters or termites. This will prevent all of that. Of course, the water and the rot as well, but also making it airtight. So it will make it more energy efficient as well. And then to apply it, just in the caulk tube, the 28 and a, or 29 ounce tube. Okay, you just put it in there. So I'm putting it in between, right at the sole plate. I did cut back the uh, the foam for, below, that goes between the concrete and the bottom plate. I did cut that back just so that way I can get a little bit of a better adhesion with this liquid flash. And then what I'm also doing as well, I'll show you here in just a moment. But I'm also doing all the nail heads from about two feet, maybe even three feet on down. Any nail heads that look like they're really deep in the plywood, I'm just going ahead, hitting those as well. You can see here what I'm doing. Just apply it on generously. And what I'll go ahead and do Got my little scraper. Gonna take this right here. And then you just spread it out with this, making sure you're getting it in all the little crevices to create that nice airtight seal and watertight seal. And you'll notice I'm kind of, how I'm applying it, kind of forcing it in there as well to make sure I get the bottom of that zip board really good. And this is something that you do not see a lot of people doing or a lot of any of your kind of track builders. This is definitely not an extra step that they will do. Because one, this product is about 40 bucks a tube and it's pretty time consuming. Also, before I applied this, I mentioned earlier in the previous video, you do want to, I, I took a broom, broomed all of this, vacuumed it all, and then uh, just wanted to make it nice and clean. Another thing too with this liquid flash, it actually, adheres even better if the surface is a little bit dampened. So let's just say if it was raining out or you were getting ready to install this in the morning with the morning dew, that is perfectly fine because this product actually works better in that. So this is actually a good product to do on a rainy day if you needed to, but the only downfall is then your, your tape won't stick. So that's the only downside to it. But you could always do nail heads and things like that. Shirts, good here. One little final swipe each way. And we are good. And 
and that's that. All right, then what we'll go ahead and see here, I went ahead and did the liquid flash around all my pipe penetrations as well. My AC, my condensate line, all of my receptacle outlets, that way those are nice and airtight and waterproof and same thing, no little bugs and critters can get in that way. <laughs> and just to make it look really clean here, what I went ahead and did was just taped this off. I'm gonna just take off one of them right now just to kind of show you. But I wanted to create this just to look nice and clean. There we go. So you can see there, now that I have the tape off, it just creates a really good seal. Looks good. Going back to that. Okay. <coughs> and then here, you'll see where I, tore, where I took the tape off already. Okay. Here's where I took the tape off already. So it just creates a really nice clean look. You'll see here where I did all the nail heads. Okay, did all of the nail heads here. <coughs> Same thing here. You'll see all the nail heads. <coughs> and since I'm doing an outdoor shower right here, I just went ahead and did all those nail heads all right here where the outdoor shower is, just to make sure. And then you'll see all of the uh, zip tape is installed in a water shedding fashion. So even my liquid uh, flash goes behind this tape up to about this height here. And then this tape, this zip tape here rolls over top and goes over top of my liquid flash, okay? Also, what I did here is I taped off the threshold, okay? I went and did the liquid flash completely all the way underneath right here. So that is a complete airtight seal. Same thing to ensure no critters get in that way as well. Same thing, you'll see the zip tape overlaps <coughs> the liquid flash. Same with over here. So you'll see what it looks like where the doors go after you take off all the tape. Nice clean look. And you'll see here how the zip tape overlaps the liquid flash. Really just creates a nice look. <coughs> 